When Casper was six years old, he was diagnosed with the uh, Asperger syndrome. And it must have been like a couple of years later um, that his younger brother Sebrand also was diagnosed. Uh, and he was diagnosed with uh, MCDD, which, which means uh, multiple complex development disorder. And uh, both disorders are disorders in the autistic spectrum. For me, it was switching emotions, and for my brother, was it very, yeah, he, he misunderstood uh, me and my parents a lot of much times. Me and my brother didn't get along very well. He uh, always found a way to uh, drive me insane. If I'm being angry at him and I'm yelling, and he was like, ha ha ha, and he doesn't take emotions uh, serious. That's how it looked to me when I was young. There was just so much hate between us and so much fr friction and it really affected us both. We never actually look at each other like brothers, more as people who live under the same roof with the same parents, but that's it. We tried everything, home video training, uh, after school therapies in, in different stages of their, um, uh, of their illness, but uh, it just didn't work enough. Instead of a loving mother, you have to be strict all the time. Uh, and that was very hard. We, we were tired a lot uh, in that time. So we started to, to look around and um, we found out that out-of-home placement would be an option. We didn't want to hear that, of course. You don't want to hear uh, the message that you have to outplace your child. But... Um, um, it's, it, there was no other option. And after one and a half year out of home placement, um, I went to my manager at the bank and I said, "We cannot, we cannot continue. Um, I cannot continue working at the bank while at home. It's just such a mess." And um, we took the boys home. Um, while all specialists said that, that permanent out-of-home placement was the only solution and we couldn't be a family anymore. I remember just being here in the living room um, and I just, at, at days in a row that I really cried out to God uh, because s somehow we felt that, that God was the one willing to, to give a way out. And then that was the moment I went to a retreat in the United States. I had a friend there and he was willing to spend a retreat with me and to go over all of my dreams that I had the year before and I did, that I didn't understand. God showed up in all those dreams with keys for, for inner healing. After that retreat coming home, I started to cry out to God for, for more dreams, uh, for more revelation and um, well, he kept on you know, telling, telling me um, that he wanted to heal the kids uh, and that he was going to uh, reveal keys for, uh, for their healing. Well, the main insight that I received for, um, for healing of the boys, one of the, one of the major things is that there is a trauma. And when there's a trauma in the soul, it caused the boys to respond with a not love reaction to, towards each other. And they were kind of um, captivated in that. And that, that's kind of a, a path that is paved by our ancestors who walked the same path as a coping mechanism. We prayed for the boys for, for the trauma that w was in their lives, but also to pave the way we had to forgive ancestors of, uh, of their brokenness as well and how they passed that through to us. After we did that prayer, we saw an, an amazing change in the boys. When we had the final prayer, it felt like a huge weight um, fell off my shoulders and me and my brother just wanted to try it out. We went uh, outside and played just a regular game of soccer and it, it, went, it went good and um, we both were surprised. The first day when we got healed, we tested out, so we go and play uh, more with each other and it goes well. So we were like, oh yeah, it, it did really help. It's like two years or two and a half years without a fight at all and uh, we are just we're, we're able to have just a conversation or just go outside and play a game of soccer without the fear of anything going wrong and that's 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 a miracle absolutely 
The change in the boys was something I never expected. It didn't just get a little bit better, it just became visible that they were healed. They were teachable, uh, where um, before you could say things a hundred times, but they just wouldn't be able, uh, and now they were. They were just different boys. And of course, puberty hit. Uh, so uh, sometimes they're just um, giving others a hard time, but you can see they're just healthy boys. And, and that really is a miracle. <laughs>